Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline and in this video I will show you how you can run your Django website through Mode WHA and uh, you can run your website through Apache server. So to begin with, there are eight simple steps that you can follow along with me. Uh, for that, you sh uh, must have Python 3.6 installed in your system and uh, with Django 1.11 or the latest version. And for demonstration, I have a sample project, which is, uh, you. UI demo. And I will just start the server. To start the server, the command is uh, python manage.py run server. So let me start the server to see our demo application. And let me go to the Chrome and just reload this page. So here it's a simple project where we can see a list of projects and uh, with some information and if you if you select the project and uh, you will see the project the poster image along with their uh, trailer okay so it's a pretty simple project which i created just for demonstration okay so now let's jump to the second point what we have here so here we have a sample projects that we just run through Django run server and now we'll install more WHA but before that I will show you like why we need uh, this entire process one what will happen like when you run the, your uh, uh, website through Apache so for that uh, you must have uh, WAMP installed in your PC or XAMPP or whatever uh, Apache server you like you can install so in my PC, I have uh, WAMP 3.1 installed and let me see with the local host. It's just a default configuration. It's just showing like, okay, it's just uh, fresh installed. Okay. So what I want is when I, when I hit local host, my, this website should appear here through WAMP. Okay. So how we can bind that, let me close this server and start command prompt and in command prompt you can use pip pip install mode wsgi mode wsgi Okay, in my, my system is already installed, but two things which I will tell you what you need to install this. Uh, you need to provide uh, the uh, root of Apache when you do the installation. And the second thing you must have Visual C++ 14 installed in your system. So if you get this error, uh, just go to the description. I explain what is what you have to do, or maybe I just show you the lines which you you have to type if if you are not able to install mode WSGI. So these are the settings that you can put before your installation. You can set the environment mode WSGI Apache root directory and give the location where your Apache installation is. So in my case, the installation is in C, WAMP, bin, Apache, and the Apache with Apache version number. Okay. And after that, you can use again pip. And if you don't have Visual C++ build installed in your PC, uh, so you have to install. Okay. And that link you can you can get in the in the command prompt window. So yeah, we have uh, pip uh, mode WSGA installed. Now let's move forward to our next process so now we need to get the path where our mode WSGI is so for that there is this small command here you need to type this in your command prompt okay, mode WSGI express and hit enter and that will tell you two things uh, where from where it's loading the file and where is the module so this line is very important for us since we're gonna copy this into our httpd conf file okay so since i already have vamp in my system and if you don't have you install that 
and then we'll move forward with our Apache configuration file setting. Before that, uh, let me start my server again and just go to the website, just reload. And you know, most of the time uh, it happened like once you change the setting of your Django website uh, to debug equals to true. And if you set this value to false and that you must do when you do, uh, uh, when you deploy your website in a production environment, Definitely it must be false and if you hit save and let me reload this website press ctrl f5 to re reload the cache also okay so this is the result there is static and media is no longer supported by Django default server and because of that you are no longer able to see the images and the style all JavaScript CSS all gone but the functionality is still there but as you can see the static and media folder are no longer hosted by a Django server. So this we are going to fix when we host our website through external server. So let's do that. Now go to your WAMP settings, click and go to apache and see apache.conf file. This is a direct way to reach this file. Uh, you can directly, if you want, you can directly go to this address like wham bin apache conf httpd conf file and this is the same file. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to just go all the way down and you don't need to edit anything here. It's everything default. But you have to do is add some other lines which will connect your Django website through this server. Uh, I already have these lines and I will explain you one by one what are these. Uh, first thing is we will load the WSGI module. That, that thing we actually catch from here. I explained before like more WSGI express module config will give you this line. And just copy this line and paste in the top first. And then WSGI script alias is the path uh, where uh, your uh, Django website is and a WSGI PY file and you can see this file here this file so you need to provide a full path to your WSGI.py uh, PY file here and your WSGI Python home will be like where your Python installation is so in my system Python installed in C Python 3.6 and uh, yeah so it's where your python installation is and WHA python path is the uh, root directory of your application so here we can see this is the root directory and this will be here and we need to provide two aliases and that is one for media and one for static that with that actually we are able to share our media and static files through apache server and since we provide these path we need to provide some uh, permissions also so for this directory you need to provide the directory path here and say require all granted and uh, another directory for media the same you require all granted true and wsj fi uh, py file uh, also we need to provide the permission required or granted so only these lines will connect your application to Apache server just copy these and in Apache stdpd conf go to the uh, till bottom and paste save and these these files you can find in the description of this video let me just uh, restart my server and before that actually I have this page here which shows the default WAMP server settings and now my server is restarted. Let me refresh my page and it's saying bad request 400 
and you know in uh, mostly when you are in your Django websites it's showing long errors like a, a complete error page what actually happened but since you are hosting a website through Apache you will only see these kind of stuff but there is another reason why we are seeing this not seeing the complete list of error because in settings we change debug to false that's why we are not seeing all the uh, information about what's going wrong there so let me just make it true for now and the changes will appear when you restart the server let me restart the server now okay my server is up and running let's reload and here we see the error report the problem here is we don't have local host in our allowed host list in settings so just copy this local host or maybe just type here allowed host list so just add this entry hit save and uh, let's again debug to false now we no longer want debug here let me reload again restart our server okay our server is restarted refresh the page and you see in localhost our Django website is appeared and also you notice our all images are there our all style is already there since our Django run server we are still getting this uh, images we uh, are not visible there and our styles and all JavaScripts are not there and since we hosted our static and media folders through J uh, J uh, Apache you see you are, you are no longer getting any errors your all images are appear and if you select your all videos and everything is working fine so with that you can host your websites uh, Django websites in Apache alright thank you very much see you in next video